Today I turn 13. It's the teenager. It's crazy to think that, yeah, she's 13. 13 years have gone by since she came into the world. And 13 years. It's unbelievable. It's, um, yeah, she's just an amazing little human being. <laughs> How would I describe Bella? She's incredible. What do I say about our little Bella? She's really kind, one of the kindest people I know. She's smart and she's witty and she's good at everything she does. A bright, little, loving, caring, special human being and a big part of our family. She just completes our family, made our lives better. Can't imagine life without her. She's easygoing, but she's super indecisive. She's outgoing around people that she knows well, but she's pretty reserved around people she doesn't. What can I say? She's grown up. She's turning into a fine young lady. Super blessed. Super blessed to have Bella as our daughter. But we love her dearly. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Just love you so much, baby girl. Keep being awesome. We'll always be a little baby girl. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We love you so much and we're super proud of you. Daddy isn't here with us today, but I talked to him on FaceTime and we'll celebrate next time he's home. Are we going to go to shore and uh, go and have some fun, eh? Hey? I don't know where I'm going, but I don't want to know. A predictable life is not what I want. Putting one foot down, one step at a time. Let the road turn ashes fine. People ask all the questions that box you in. To classify your life with a stroke of a pen. Take those old rules, crumple them, and throw one out. We're burning that box right now. Mold breakers. Shakers Don't ever silence your voice Dream makers Risk takers Don't ever silence your voice If you think you were made just to blend right in To avoid big mistakes or to tally your sins You might get There is no surf in Langkawi, so skating is the next best thing you never lived at all Mold breakers, movers and shakers Don't ever silence your voice Dream makers, risk takers Don't ever silence your voice We also went to the cinema and had cake with more of my friends when we got back to the marina.
That was a pretty fun day. We have been living in the marina for a few months now. And today we are going to show you what an average day living here in Malaysia is like for us. Obviously it's not the same every day, but this should give you a little insight of our day-to-day -day lives while Dad is working in Australia. We start the day with some yoga or some kind of exercise. Then breakfast, a smoothie bowl. Looks delicious, Mum. Thanks. Yesterday we followed the road of the moon. We drove all day towards the coast. It remembered me the beauty of this life. Such a feeling to be alive. The salty breeze. After breakfast, we do school. I'm 13 and I do year 7. Mum and me usually do work together. She edits while I do my books. Depending on the day, I do about two hours, more or less. True to wind, true to storm, one day you'll fly along. Oh, 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 oh. Things I like to do on the boat are read in my favourite spot, the hammock. So I'm reading a book, it's called Swell and it's by Liz Clark and it's a true story and it's about a girl and she lives on a boat and she travels around so Are we done? I broke my toe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really see it but it's pretty bruised. Oh, skateboarding. I like knitting, and no, we didn't get a cat. This is our friend's cat, Sophie. We're looking after her while they are away. Also, I love to bake. Paint and play the ukulele. What do you want me to say? So what does a 14 year old do when you're tied up to a dock? It's pretty boring compared to our usual life. Yeah, not too bad. What are the many things that you do in a day? Listen to podcasts. What is your favourite podcast at the moment? London Real. Thing, what are you reading? Zero to One by Peter Thiel. What's it about? It's about building companies of the future. Oh wow, intense. <laughs> do you like drawing? Yeah. What do you draw? Lots of things. Lots of things. Mostly Nothing specific. <laughs> and beaches. Taj is a pretty mad artist. If you want to check out some of his work, you can go onto our website. He's also going to start up his own YouTube channel soon when he actually decides to do it. <laughs> but I'm trying to convince him to do it. You guys should all uh, jump on our Facebook page and comment there because you can't comment on our videos. But you could comment over on our Facebook page if you want to see Taj start his own YouTube channel with his drawings because he's a pretty sick artist and um, we're really proud of him. So, what have you done today? I went to the pool. They've got some mates that are living in the marina too at the moment. And we hang out after lunch until dinner time.
So a bit lucky we've got a pool here where the kids can go and use the pool. Yeah, so Taj's schooling, we've decided to give a little bit of a go at him kind of directing in the way that he wants to learn, doing stuff that he loves and he's learning about business and entrepreneurial things. He loves looking into all those kind of courses. So we're more, we're more into him self-learning and, and actually wanting to learn because I would rather the kids like learning rather than hating it. So. That's the direction we're going. A lot of people have a lot of questions about homeschooling and I think you kind of just got to find what works for you and what works for your kid because everybody learns and is different. But Taj draws a lot. His lifestyle's given him the freedom to be able to, you know, do a lot of things that he wants to do, which I think's great. He loves the camera. <laughs> Thanks for the chat. I'm gonna make some pumpkin soup. Today's my birthday, 26 years on earth. It's nearly 10,000 mornings. Well, it didn't go too fast. It didn't. So we don't eat a lot of soup usually. It's nearly a whole pumpkin, two carrots, and an onion. Um, usually put a little bit of nutmeg in there, and then I just put some veggie stock on top, boil it away and blend it up later. Well, I still don't know where will I be tomorrow. Well, I still don't know where will I be tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that episode made you smile. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time as the kids and I head to Thailand on a visa run. Don't jump, don't try to swim.